Hey, welcome back to the Madhouse Asylum server. I am the Colonel. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Allergies, man. They come and they go. So uh, we're going to work a little bit. Uh, try and finish off the asylum today. But first, I want to go through uh, and see if we can do some exploring. Uh, I would like to find some clay or some desert or something so that we can get some of the things that we are missing. There is some work being done in the nether. Interesting. This is so scary. So scary. So we're heading over to the portal uh, over by Samurai's Mob Spawner. And we're going to explore some biomes over there and hopefully we'll find something interesting. Uh, and if we do, we'll show. And uh, if not, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll just sum up the journey and, um, and we'll come back and start working on the asylum. So... Uh, Stay tuned. Wow, looky Lou. Ice planes splice spl spikes. <laughs> spikes. Um cool. I'll have to make note of this place. And uh, I wish I had my do I need a silk touch? <laughs> Looks like it. Um, yeah, it's not working. So I guess I need a silk touch pick to grab these, which is fine. Um, so we'll maybe come back to this later. Cool. Cool. Still have not found anything in the way of a desert. Or lots of forests. Lots of plains. But still no sand. Well, that was another wasted trip. A couple of hours later, and uh, don't really have anything to show for it. it. Took me forever to get back, and uh, even went caving. I had to go caving to find some uh, obsidian so that I could get back. But um, no, there's not much, uh, not much out there. I, it's just more forest and plains and crap. the The fact that I found that ice biome was just a minor miracle in itself so uh we are going to uh take another stab at that later probably off camera uh but for now i'm not even sure what happened here this happened to my base as well uh i found it when i got back uh somebody had basically put cobblestone around my hacienda house and i don't understand why <laughs> there's no sign so i i don't i don't know it's uh, kind of dumb, <laughs> to be honest. It's just irritating. I mean, if there was a reason behind it, that's one thing. But there were, doesn't appear to be a reason behind it. It's just being a douche. Um, so I got back here, and uh, I've had this on my list of things, and it's just been bugging me. So I have finally fixed, finally fixed... This is the uh, chicken shack. Notice we have a full thing of chicken. Let's take this out. Ooh. And we'll put it back in. So I'll show you what I did. Uh, I basically had to tear it all down and rebuild it from the bottom up. This looks a lot cleaner. Uh, and basically what it does is it sends everything up to a chest. And then down into a hopper and into another long chest. And then into the dropper. Uh, so, we are already backed up a little bit. Um, I'm trying to, I want to put a, a shutoff on here, but the, when I started looking into it, I'm not sure I understand how to do that. <laughs> so, it's something I'm going to have to look at. Um, we rehatched a bunch of chickens with some of the eggs we had. So, we are good to go there. Uh, down here, let's see, what do we do? Oh, okay, so we stuck everything into some hoppers that go into the chest, or the, the dropper over there. So let's scoot over here. And it's the same clock that we had before. 
uh, and it goes all the way up. Now the only difference is because it was a, a weird number of dispensers, um, I had to do some jury rigging up here. Uh, basically, it takes the signal coming from this torch and sends it up and into this this guy here. So it sends everything into the chest and away we go. So that's what we have. Uh, that's what we've done here. So we fixed this. Um, so everything is is flowing fine. I tested it from the bottom. So everything is good and happy. Uh, now I don't know how to do the shutoff. I cleaned up a little bit of the area up here, so this is the chest, and I mean, I un I know how to detect that the chest is full, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a full signal, so we'll have a comparator here that says, okay, if there's a full signal coming from the chest, but the problem is that uh, I don't know how to tell the hoppers down here... Um, to basically bypass like the only way so what I could do and it's it's it becomes a mess is I could put a hopper or a, a um, comparator on here detect a full chest and then have a separate uh, a separate hopper I guess to actually maybe that's what I should do Maybe that's what I should do. Aha! Thank you for the idea, my humble viewers. So, what I could do is put a compare, put a, a drop. Um, sorry, a dropper, a hopper here, right here, and point it down, and. Have it controlled by a redstone signal. So if there is a full signal coming out of the chest, it will power the hopper, or yeah, power the hopper. So or it'll power this one and unpower the other one, so that everything drops through this guy and down into the chain. Uh, at where is it? It would have to drop in. Hmm. It would have to drop in here. Uh, because I don't want it to get sorted again. So it would have to drop in here. This is interesting. I could do this. This this is. Uh, we have the technology for this. So I need to figure out how to do that. But I'm not going to do that today. Uh, we're going to do that. Another time. This was just something that was driving me nuts because I wanted chicken, and every time I went to the dispenser, it was empty uh, because we weren't feeding anything from the hoppers back here. So everything had kind of been backed up. So this is now working fine and dandy -o. Uh So we got a bunch of chickens hatched. We got a bunch of chickens up there laying more eggs. So everything is working, and I'm so happy about that. So happy about that. All right. So, on to other things. Check the death games while we're here. Bubba. I didn't even know Bubba played on the server. Uh, that's cool if he is. Uh, who's left and that hasn't? Samurai's taken his name. Uh, he, no, I don't think he had his name in. Ragemore, Cory, Epic, Pri, Tripper. Okay. So, Bubba is the man, and uh, nobody is on right now. Just me, all by my lonesome. Uh, hopefully we can get some more folks on the server. Uh, it's been fairly active lately, but uh, that was before I went on vacation. <laughs> so hopefully it'll pick back up again. Uh, now that we are in the middle of summer vacation. But uh, let's get back and reorganize and move on to our next uh, Item of business. I lied. <laughs> I couldn't let it go. It's stuck in my brain. Once it's there, it can't go anywhere. So I need to... Uh, I've looked at the location of... I need to go to 130, which is right here. And if I'm not mistaken, there it is right there. So... 
I stick hoppers here. Just gonna go down here. All right, so this is 208, 130. 208, 130 is where I need to be. 208, 129. 130. Two, oh, oh. Oh, that is really close. Um, that is really close. But I think that's okay. I think that is okay. So what we do is we do that. And we stick this guy up here, and we go one, two. Oh no, I can't do that. I can't do that. Actually, I probably could save myself some hoppers here. Oh no, did I just lose a hopper? Oh, I totally did. Oh, you dingbo. Ah, man. I can't believe I just did that. All right. So, um, we are going to, oh, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Carefully is how we're going to do this. Um, all right. So, <laughs> uh, um, all right, so here's what I think we're going to have to do. Uh, so we are going to have... Oh, man. This is fugly. No, that's not going to work. So basically, I think I've boxed myself into a corner here. So I need to put... Okay, okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. So what we're going to have to do is go down uh, like this. Okay, there's nothing in this chest, which is fine. Um, and what we're going to do is power this guy here. So nothing will go through. Um... All right, so getting creative here. <laughs> getting creative here. <sighs> Man. All right. Oh, this is in a bad spot. This is in a bad spot. Uh, I think we could move this over, right? Uh, it has to power this block. Oh, man, this is so ugly. All right, I think I have things set more or less the way that I want them to work, I think. <laughs> oh, this was, a, this was a contortionist's nightmare. So I had to rearrange the entrance here to provide myself with a little space. So now to go downstairs, we got to go around the corner. Um, so basically what I have set up here is, oh man, <clears throat> so what's going to happen is this chest is going to, oop, I'm missing a piece of redstone, there we go, alright, so now if this chest is full, it's going to emit a full signal, and it's going to... Actually, I need to do that. There we go. So, it will emit a full signal. Therefore, um, it will subtract this, and it will... Uh, actually, will it? Dang it. Oh, nuts. 
All right. So, so okay. Basically, I'll I'll go over this in a minute because I, I did test this out to make sure it would work. Um, uh, actually, you know what? Let's test it out right now. Uh, yeah. Let's go down here. There's plenty of room. Okay. So, the idea is that the comparator is going to have a signal behind it. So let's say this is a full chest, right? A full signal. Now, if you have, if you have uh, this as the subtractor, okay, so it's basically saying I'm sending out a full signal. So if you subtract it, it's not gonna send out a signal at all if the chest is full. Uh, so, what I'm looking for is it to emit a signal when the chest is full. So I may have saved myself some trouble here. <laughs> hmm. I think I may have screwed something up here. So this is the full signal. Dang it. What have I done? What have I done? So I want to have the chest giving out. Okay, so if the if the chest is full, I want it to admit it. How do I have this set up? Man. All right, so I've got this set. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So it will run down here with no signal and have this off. So what I want it to do, um, basically I need it to be reversed, I think is what the problem is. Hmm. So if the chest is full, it will emit a signal. And that's how I have it set up. But I did have it like that. So if the chest is full, do not emit, emit a signal. So if I have the chest, let's say, back here. So the chest is chest has something in it, so it's not emitting a signal. Okay, now it's emitting a signal because it's full. Still kind of full. I want it to send a signal when it's full. And right now it's not. So it's not sending a signal, but I need to turn oops. I need to turn that off. Alright. So that's set properly. Can I get up there? No, I can't. Holy close quarters. Alright, so <laughs> let's try this again. When the chest is full, it's going to emit a signal. So right now it's off, so that it's not full. So what it does is it turns this guy off. So this guy, oops, this guy, this hopper is the one that feeds the dispenser. So this is allowing stuff to pass through because this, this chest here has still got capacity in it. Uh, this guy here is the one that is the overflow so it's basically sending everything into into lava so uh, what's going to happen here is that it's going to branch off the same signal and it's going to uh, so right here it's inverted um, and we just re-invert it over here just because that's the way the space worked so 
basically, um, the chest is not full, so it's powering this block here with a, uh, a repeater. So this block is powered, therefore this guy is not sending anything. And this guy here doesn't have anything in it because this chest is empty. So anything, so this guy won't, uh, this, yeah, this guy will fill up with stuff. And I think we probably need to get some cooked chicken and put it in this guy. Yeah, this guy here. There we go. All right. So this guy is now full. So if we put chicken in the chest, it's going to end up here. There we go. Okay. So we're basically, we just need to get this guy filled up. And uh, I think this should work. Um, I don't... I've been... Every time I go around here, I screw this redstone up. And the lava burns too long, so these chickens and the chicken that they cook all disappear. They get destroyed, so I can't... I haven't got any more chickens to test it with, but um, we should be good to go soon, I think. I'm just gonna... I think I'll probably AFK here for a bit. Um, so I think this is gonna work. I'm just going to sit around and make sure that it works, and then uh, we'll continue on. I, th I think we're running actually a little long on this episode because of this stupid project. I had not anticipated and had not intended to do this on this episode, but um, I got the idea in my head, and I just had to work with it. So uh, my apologies, but uh, we'll get back to our regularly planned stuff. I think in the next episode, uh, I think we are running a bit long, so uh, we will, I promise you, get back to the asylum in the next episode and finish that bad boy uh, so that we can move on to our other projects, which do not include the chicken farm. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. If you notice anything that I've done that's stupid up here that uh, I could improve on, please let me know. Um, it'll probably be after I've already made sure that this works or doesn't work. So if it doesn't work, um, you'll probably know before I do. Um, so let me know. I guess that would be incorrect. I would probably know that it's not working before you did. But hopefully you would have a solution. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> uh, take care, everybody. Oh, yeah. on your mind.